Hi everyone, Flick and Victoria here from Sleek Ballet Fitness. Welcome. And this video today we want to talk about getting great posture and toning our arms at the same time. And you can do that really quickly with a simple up-up body sequence, which we're going to walk you through now. So you can grab a mat if you've got one, don't worry if you haven't, just come to sit down on the floor, cross your legs. So one ankle in front of the other, sit up nice and tall, take hold of your kneecaps, roll your shoulders back. We're going to draw the tummy in, rock back and look up to the ceiling. And as you do, feel like your breastbone is looking up to the sky. You're not collapsing collapsing your head back into your neck and crunching. You're lengthening as if there's a pillow behind you. Draw your tummy in and sit upright, but try and maintain that openness from shoulder point to shoulder point. From here, crossing your arms, reverse that. Draw your tummy in, rock back, cross your ankles. Draw your tummy through to your spine. Release the arms, uncross them. Take the hands onto the knees, sit up tall. Rock back so the elbows straighten. And again, re-establish that very open point from one shoulder to the other. Draw your tummy and activate your core. Sit up nice and tall and cross the other arm in front, the one that feels a bit strange. Draw your tummy in, rock back, release out. Sit up nice and tall, just take the underneath hand, place it behind you. Place your, thumb, your hand onto your outside thigh and just gently twist to the corner, opening up the spine here, the vertebra. Come back to centre, switch that hand on top, do the same thing the other way. Come to face knee and press your palms together, make a prayer position. Elbows point out, horizontal line. I want you to resist palm to palm. And as you do, you'll feel that activation, the triceps, the biceps and the pectorals. So pressing, we're holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, float your arms out to second position and press through your elbow, wrist and fingers. Push the walls away for eight. Push away for seven. Good, six and five. Good, remember those shoulder points, they're open. It's that same feeling, the breastbone is almost lifted to the sky. Good, one more time, press your palms together. Really make sure your elbows are out. You want to really work this frame here. Good posture, seven, six, five, Four, no tension in your neck or jaw, all your tension into your upper body as you release and now send it away. For eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two, and one. Hands to the floor, sweep your legs to one side. Knees come forward, heels come back towards your bottom. Your arm about 30 centimeters from you. Sweep the arm across your body. Look down towards your middle finger and squeeze your elbow in towards you. We're holding it here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press the arm away and push it up. And sweep back down. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press the arm away and push up. One more time, squeezing the elbow in, working a single tricep dip, a little plie into the arm. Six, five, four, three, go a little lower, two, one, and press away, well done. Cross those legs, sit up nice and tall, forward to bar that arm up and over. Imagining we're in a toaster, keeping the ribcage drawn in. Releasing the upper body, sweeping all the way round. As we do, sit up nice and tall and sweep your legs over to the other side. Same thing with that second arm, walk the fingertips away. Draw the arm across the body and bend the elbow towards your rib cage. We're finding that slight point where you might almost begin to tremble. Three, two, one. Lift up as you press away, that same movement draws you back down as you sweep. So single arm here, taking a little bit more weight than when you're into two arms and more weight than when we're pressing in our prayer position. Using our body weight as resistance is a really surefire way to create that long, lean, balletic, muscular line. For four, three, two, one, press away. Last time, and draw in. Draw that tummy through to your spine. Four, three, two, one, sit nice and tall. And press away, beautiful, let's stretch it out, cross those legs. Quarter bra comes up and over, side bend. We want to re-establish opening up that chest to set us for the rest of the day. And 
use all our body weight at one point now. So sweeping your legs round. Knees point up to the ceiling. Walk your hands back and point your fingers towards your bottom. We're making a capital M shape. If you have any problems with your shoulders or your wrists or your upper back, then opening the chest and looking to the ceiling, that high release we took at the top of this sequence is enough. Press your feet into the floor, lift your hips high, look up to the ceiling, don't crunch into that neck. It's the same feeling we took right at the top of this sequence. Working through the glutes and the hamstrings, shoulder points are open, lower everything down, well done. Turn to face me, keep that feeling of openness of breath. Good, and then let's just move on. So countering that, holding your elbows just again. Chin to chest, squeezing that tummy through to the spine. And then releasing the hands, interlace your fingers, turn your palms to face me, and sit up. Getting that lovely long length now in the body. Dancer-like spine is long and strong. Keep it as you open your arms, good. That lovely open point, shoulder to shoulder. Keep that with you, good strong posture, your arms feeling worked, everything ready for a great day ahead of you, we hope you enjoy it. And if you want more upper body workouts, head over to our Sleep Ballet Fitness app, we have lots more on there for all levels. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe, and Victoria and I will see you soon.